Hello everyone, thank you for watching. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I guess I just wanted to start with an introductory video, um, like who I am, why I decided to start this channel. Uh, so my name's Beth, I'm the artist behind Beth Frost Art. Um, I'm also a Navy wife for people who don't know that either, so that will probably crop up in my videos as well at some point. So I'm most active on Instagram and Facebook, but recently I've found that like the algorithms and stuff with the social media um, aren't great. I find it quite hard to kind of chat to you guys, kind of that community feel isn't really there for me on those platforms. So I thought YouTube might be a good way to start that. Um, obviously everyone can comment below, we can chat, I can reply. I found looking at other people that they have most of their community on YouTube and I thought that would just be a really nice idea to get to know you guys a bit better and for you to get to know me a bit better as well. I thought YouTube would be a really good way for me to chat to you guys without it being too formal. Um, whereas like Instagram and Facebook, I always just post really nice, pretty photos of the finished piece of art and stuff. Um, no one really gets to see the process behind it, all the thoughts that go into it, um, what materials I use, all of that kind of stuff. So I thought doing maybe weekly videos with you guys to show the process and kind of my studio where everything is created, um, how it all happens really. So yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice to share kind of my journey with my art with you guys. Um, I'm turning 30 in a couple of years and one of my goals before or by the time I'm 30 is to make more and do more and focus more on my art business. Um, it's been going for nearly 10 years really. I started it when I was back at uni doing my fine art degree and I just started out in my student bedroom doing paintings of people's pets. Um, didn't have an Instagram or Facebook or anything for it and it's kind of just grown from there. Uh, it's always been what I've done on the side of working and studying and kind of my goal is to make it more prominent in my life I guess and I'd love to do it all the time and more often so I thought branching out to YouTube as well as social media um, would be a good start. I'm also launching a newsletter so I'm gonna do that once a month just to kind of do a roundup of the month, all the projects I've been working on, new commissions, um, kind of updates in my life, updates about the dog, um, just kind of like a fun roundup of the month in case weekly videos isn't for you. Obviously I post every day on Instagram and Facebook and then I'll probably do these videos once a week and then newsletter once a month. So there should be something for everyone in there um, from like the formal Instagram and social media, kind of a middle newsletter and then these more informal chatty videos. So something to suit everyone hopefully. Yeah, so I think these videos will be a combination of kind of my artist life and my life as a Navy wife um, because sometimes they do affect each other and I guess like if I'm doing weekly videos things will happen and they'll kind of just interlink. So The main things I work on are pet portraits which is great, it's the best bit of the job because I get to look at really cute photos of all your pets and bring them to life in a painting and kind of capture their character. Um, and then sending them back to you and seeing how happy you are with them just is just a great job. <laughs> um, so I do my pet portraits in three different sizes, so A5, A4 and A3, um, all on like artist quality watercolour paper. Um, so each size is a different price depending on, on what you want. Um, all of the prices and stuff are on, on my website which will be linked below. Um, and I do them in those sizes as well because they're quite easy to frame. Like you can always get A4 frames from anywhere, A3 frames and even A5 really. Um, I know that's quite a UK 
based sizing system. I know in America and Canada and stuff, they don't have A4 size printer paper. Um, but as most of my customers are UK based, that's kind of what, what I go for. Uh, I also do pet portraits. I've just started doing them recently on wooden slices. So I've got like a little example here for you. Um, you can kind of have them just on their own or with like a little string and then like names on the back or I can do names at the top depending on on your preference. Um, so yeah, these are just done with acrylic paint and some white highlights with a gel pen or thicker white paint. So another thing I do are colouring pages. I started these during lockdown actually um, to help people with relaxing and kind of de-stressing and taking your mind off of everything. So you can download them on my website shop. Um, you just get a downloadable file and then you can print them at home. There was no risk of having to come into contact with people during COVID and lockdown. You could just do it all in the safety of your own home. That was kind of the idea of it. And I've just kept them going really. Um, so yeah, you can download them, print as many of them as you want at home. You can try them in all different mediums. You could, you know, do one with pen, paint, pencil, um, whatever you fancy, really. Um, I've got an example of one I did here the other day. So this is my dear one with the moon, the stag in the moon. Um, I just coloured this in with some pens, some like brush pens. Um, and I print mine on cartridge paper, which most home printers, I've just got a standard home printer um, and it's not too thick to go through there. Whereas if you do it on any thicker, like watercolour paper or something, it might not go through the printer, but it works really well on the cartridge paper, still thick enough for you to use paints and, you know, the felt tip pens or markers and stuff like that. Um, it's just a bit better than normal printer paper, really. Um, so yeah, I'll leave some examples around that you can see and I've got quite a quite a few on my website now. I update them regularly. I've I'm also working on something quite exciting with my colouring pages at the moment. So I'm working on a bit of a secret project, I guess, um, to turn them into something more. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, I will keep you posted with that. So another thing I do are mugs. I've got one here, I'm drinking my coffee. So um, they're all kind of Starry Night landscape themed. Um, yeah, just quite cute. I um, paint these in a local shop and then I can use their kiln as well to get them fired and make them all nice and shiny. I've got some like nice dot work around the tops. I do the insides as well down the handle. Um, do, those in, do these in all sorts of colours. Um, I'll leave some more examples around for you as well. But yeah, they're so fun to do. I don't really do a lot of them, but i um, hoping to do more in the future because they're, they are really, they're really fun. Uh, so other things I do, I do um, resin and glass coasters. So they kind of look like this. This is just one of the colours I've got. Um, so I normally sell them in sets of two or four, um, and they're just glass, um, glass plain coasters, and then I acrylic pour over the top of them, so just a combination of colours, um, sometimes like these ones I just choose some of my favourite colours and do them, or if they're a commission I can do them to any colour, colours that you like, um, I can add glitter into the resin on top as well or gold gold leaf silver leaf bronze leaf um stuff like that to make it a bit more sparkly um so yeah they're another thing that i do i wait for the acrylic to dry and then do a resin coating on the top and it's quite good because resin like the resin i use anyway is heat resistant and it's easy to clean so it's quite good for coasters um so i do the glass ones and then I also do just pure resin ones and I have moulds so they're quite cool you've got like these funky shapes um, they're a bit more like plasticky so I kind of prefer the glass ones because they feel a bit more like heavy and um, like a nicer quality but these are still really nice as well you can do all sorts I've got some gold leaf 
in here as well. I don't know if you can really see, there's like blue and gold um, pigment in the resin and they're a bit more like see-through-y. Um, but yeah, they come in like cool shapes and you can paint like the outside of them as well. So yeah, just another, I'll put, I've done some more, so I'll put some examples there. On the resin front, I also make these artist palettes out of resin. Um, this one is like a pinky, silver, white hue. Um, yeah, I've added, added some glitter. So yeah, they're really nice. I just recently did one for my friend Jill, who I work with. Um, she wanted an ocean inspired colour theme. So I did that for her, added some gold into it as well. So it turned out really nicely. Um, yeah, really happy with those. I'm hoping to do more of those in the future as well, because they're something I've only just started really. Um, and then another thing I do is tattoo designs um, and ideas. I can digitally draw them um, or design quickly just a rough idea for you. I'll put some examples of ones I've done. Um, yeah, this is mental. Like, I when people ask me to do this, I'm always really like a bit shocked and a bit humbled because my design or my art will then be on your body forever. Um, and that's just a crazy, a crazy thought. Um, but yeah, it makes me really happy people trust me enough to design something for them that they want on their bodies forever. Um, so yeah, my husband is actually getting a tattoo done in July um, of a cormorant. I'll put it somewhere here. And yeah, I designed, designed that for him. So maybe I'll do a video nearer the time. Um, of how that goes so you can kind of compare my design to how the tattoo turned out. Um, oh yeah, another thing I have is my red bubble shop. So this is a shop where I just upload all of my designs um, and then they can print them and put them on all sorts of products. So mugs, coasters, clocks, bags, masks, you know, t-shirts, clothing, all of that kind of stuff. Um, which is really nice to be able to have my designs on tangible products. Um, and they they kind of deal with all the manufacturing and printing it and shipping it to you guys, um, which is super handy for me. Um, so yeah, I will also leave the link for the shop below. Most of, most of my work is on there every time I design something or if I do a commission I'm really happy with um I will upload it to the shop for everyone and it's really nice as well for people who have commissioned a painting of their pet as well so you don't just get the actual painting I can upload it to there and then you can have your pet on all sorts of products as well which is really cool um so yeah it's just a nice a nice addition to have. I also have an Etsy shop where I sell um, greetings cards and prints and stuff like that, um, which I also sell in the gallery. Um, so yeah, it's just another another outlet. And then I also have uh, my own website shop um, where I sell most of my colouring pages and then like a few um, products from the other two shops as well. And then lastly, I have a lot of my work in the Wild Art Gallery in Wickham, Hampshire, um, which is amazing. Like I've worked with Sarah who runs the gallery for um, a couple of years now since she started it up really. And I kind of found out through a friend of a friend that she was starting up this gallery and wanted local artists to contribute. Um, and it all had to be animal and wildlife themed, um, which is perfect for me because that's what I do. Um, so yeah, I got in contact with her and she was like, yeah, great, bring some of your stuff in and just never looked back since really. Um, she just recently had a little play about with where my work sits in the gallery, put a photo somewhere. Um, so yeah, my work is as soon as you go in and it's right there, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, it's just really nice to have my work in a proper gallery and for people that aren't 
on my social media or not friends or family to go in and see my work and buy my work. It's, um, yeah, really, really great. Um, I love being part of the gallery as well. Like they do so many nice gifts and paintings and there's so many other talented artists in there. It's so, so I am a digital designer slash developer. Um, that's my full-time job, my day job. Um, so I'm really lucky to be able to incorporate my love for like art and design into my full-time job. So I did my fine art degree at Winchester School of Art and then I had a year out where I worked um, and travelled and then I went back to Portsmouth University to do my master's degree in illustration which has led me to be able to do the job I do today and I'm glad I did go back to do my master's because I think without that and without the association to the university I wouldn't have got the job that I have now um, because it started off as work experience and I found that work experience through the university so um, yeah I'm glad I'm glad I went back and did it. Oh, here she is. <laughs> this is Sandy. Hello. You say hi. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm home all day to look after Sandy. We go for walks uh, on my lunch break and before work. So that's nice to get into a good home working routine with her. Um, so yeah, maybe I can do a, a whole video on her because we got her when she was three um so i can tell you all about her and how we got her and everything oh, person. Um, if you've got a dog then comment below and let me know their name can you post photos in the comment if you can post a photo of them or just tell me what they are what breed they are what their name is um because i'd love to i'd love to know maybe you can be maybe you can be our mascot for the channel would you like that? Maybe? I think that's a yes. Is that a yes? Yeah? <laughs> um, that is my little intro video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and watch next week. Um, please subscribe and like the video, that will really help. Share with your friends and your family, other creatives or other um, Navy wives or people in the Navy it would be great to start a little community together comment below for any videos that you'd like to see from me any ideas yeah thank you very much and I'll see you next week